Hello and welcome to Japanese craft beer reviews. Uh, it's been a while uh, for me, maybe not for you since you're just uh, turning this on right now, uh, but I haven't made a review for a while and I'm going to get back into it. I've got a whole series of beers from uh, a single brewery that I'm going to look at, I think nine or ten perhaps. The brewery is called Ise Kadoya and uh, they are located in Mie Prefecture, uh, which is uh, uh, in central Japan. And it is the, kind of an offshoot of a, a sake brewery, uh, which opened in 1575. So they have been around for a while uh, brewing sake. And they opened as a craft beer brewery in 1997 uh, with some success. It was kind of uh, helmed by a I think it still is by uh, uh, a man named Suzuki who got a PhD in uh, 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 form some of a form of biology. I don't know exactly which, but he studied yeast, uh, which is of course good for a brewer. And uh, they are located again in Ise City in Mie Prefecture, uh, which is a very famous city. Uh, kind of traditional city, um, and it's host to the Ise Grand Shrine, one of the most important uh, Shinto shrines in Japan. And uh, the, uh, uh, they uh, later hired a brewer named uh, Deguchi, who is quite good, and uh, an assistant who used to work at, uh, I'm sorry, no, the assistant left there, that's right, Deguchi was the brewer. Uh, and so they have uh, a, a restaurant there called Biagura, and uh, their main brewery is now called the Shimono Brewery. They built the new brewery, this new brewery in 2018, and they have restaurants at the uh, Naiku Mai Shrine and Geku Mai Shrine. There are actually two shrines, uh, uh, the inner one and the outer one, and they have a shop at their Biagura a restaurant where you can order, you can uh, pick up beers there. They have also uh, uh, a couple of uh, restaurants uh, in Tokyo, one in uh, Shinjuku and one in Aesu, where you can get uh, a number of taps. Uh, Isekidoya makes a lot of beers. Uh, uh, I think I, I'm pretty safe in saying that they make more varieties than any other brewer in Japan, craft beer brewer. Um, it's really kind of hard to keep up with them, uh, but and many of them, of course, are limited or seasonal beers, one-offs, uh, uh, and they do have kind of a set line, a regular line as well. I have a playlist of Iskadoya beers, so you can check that out. Uh, please do a variety, and I'll add these beers to that. Now, this is an introduction, of course. If you have, uh, uh, you can skip ahead if you want to see the reviews of the beers. I'm going to look at uh, some of their what we call omiyage beers, souvenir beers, which are sold uh, in and around the Issei Shrine area uh, for tourists, and then some of their uh, uh, newer uh, kind of one-off beers, uh, uh, kind of interesting, unusual beers that they make, okay? Okay, so we're going to begin uh, with one of the beers from Issei Kadoya now. And here is a, another beer from Issei Kadoya brewery in Mie Prefecture, and this one is called Isekaroya Neko Shika Shinjirare Nai, and it means I only trust cats, or I only believe in cats. And, uh, you know, in, in, I don't know, in, uh, I think in, certainly in the United States, uh, craft brewers are often connected with dogs, and they're often beers named after dogs and and dog friendly brewery tap rooms and that sort of thing uh, certainly in Portland Oregon uh, where I've spent time uh, that's very much true uh, in Japan cats uh, seem to have a larger presence in the craft brewing world uh, and certainly at Ise Kadoya brewery cats are, are, uh, are a feature of several of their beer names and their labels as well um, this is as they call it it's kind of kind of long, uh, double dry hopped oat cream hazy IPA. I'll say that again, double dry hopped oat cream hazy IPA. It's 8%, uh, 60 IBUs, international bittering units, and uh, it, it was uh, originally uh, uh, Neko, their Neko Nihiki, which means two cats, uh, 
uh, made in 2016, a, a collaboration with Culmination Brewery in uh, Brewing in Portland, Oregon. And then they kind of morphed it into a hazy IPA. And now this one, which has oats and lactose added to it, uh, or as they call it, oat cream treatment. And uh, it has the same hops as the original Neko Nihiki, uh, but lots of Amarillo and Mosaic uh, as late additions uh, during brewing. And then it's double dry hopped with Citra and Mosaic. So it's got a lot going on into it uh, for sure. Um, and so the ingredients include uh, barley malt from Canada and Germany, uh, oats and uh, wheat, and hops and lactose. Again, 8% and 60 international bittering units here. Uh, this has no ratings on rate beer uh, at all. It was added uh, by yours truly in uh, uh, November, uh, early November of last year. Uh, on Untapped, there were 123 ratings when I checked last time at a whopping 4.08 out of 5. Uh, so as a hazy IPA, you know, it's a popular style uh, among beer geeks. Um, hasn't been my favorite style, certainly, but, uh, you know, a good one, I can certainly give it a go. And I'm going to do that today and see how this one is. Again, Isakuroya Neko Shika Shinjirarei. I cannot... Trust, I can trust only cats. Okay, well, it's pouring out pretty flat. Uh, it is lightly hazy, uh, very kind of bright, sort of a bright pastel yellow, uh, kind of pretty. Uh, very thin, very thin head, almost nothing, but I can smell it from here. Oh boy, yeah. Oh my. Okay, so yeah, the citron and mosaic certainly do come out uh, here. That double dry hopping is very apparent. <sighs> kind of almost pungent. Hmm. Pungent. It leads me to think it's going to be tart. Well, okay. All right. It does have the feeling of a hazy, uh, but kind of mild. Uh, it's not blasting your nostrils with uh, that sort of pungent, zesty fruitiness that uh, a lot of hazies tend to have. Very pleasant. Definitely a good stone fruit. Kind of, uh, well, I would say like fermented stone fruit almost. Uh, a bit warming. The body is medium to heavy, uh, edging on heavy, for sure. A bit syrupy, actually. Mm. Yeah. Uh, the bitterness really comes in, kicks in in late mid-palate and kind of stays with you. Uh, very warming in the back of the throat, for sure. This is a, this is a very interesting beer. Um, it was not cheap. It was 946 yen, where I bought it in Ise, in the city of Ise, uh, or around $8 or so. Okay. Well, I can recommend this one very highly. Um, and if you're a cat lover, uh, as I am, and uh, if you have a cat, as I do, um, I don't know if I'd go so far to say I can only trust cats, but uh, uh, certainly I think I can trust that you will like this beer. Again, it's called Isakadoya Neko Shika Shinjirare Nai. I only trust cats. So give it a go if you happen to see it. Uh, it might be kind of limited, but uh, you know it's certainly worth seeking out. Okay, that's it for today. Um, I have another Isakadoya beer in our next review, and we'll look at that. And I hope you'll subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment. I'd like to hear from you, and I do reply. Uh, I will, you know, give you a reply to questions or any discussion you'd like to have. Okay, that's it. Take care. Bye-bye.